Let's talk a little about a portrait. This guy here, these two guys. It was a funny, we were in this, it's, it's a little village called Montserrat. It's beautiful. Hundreds of years of history in this place. And all of a sudden, they pass me by. I follow them, they pass me by and I follow them. Like, hey, this, this, this guys look nice, you know? You have this godfather look into them when, when you know, when Al Pacino goes back to Italy. So it feels that you really did a little time travel right there. So I follow them and see what's gonna happen. They look so interesting and they look so, so different to me. And then I go there and, and here we take the hat of the photojournalist, put that away and now you're gonna do a portrait. And it's a completely different mood. You just, you're gonna first, the way I do, I go in and I ask, hey, excuse me, can I take your portrait? Can I take a photograph of you? And if the guy says yes, nice. If they say no, thank you, I don't want it, then I'll leave it be, you know? I'm not gonna do the photograph. It's, it's always nice to ask. Sometimes I have to say, I don't ask. But in a situation like this, where I really want the guy looking at the camera, I'll definitely, I'll have to ask, you know? So I went there, hey, I'm a photographer from Brazil and I'm doing story here on, on Montserrat and I'd love to make your photograph. And it's cool because if, if, you, if you give something to them and in this time, in this, in this situation, the giving, what, what am I giving? I'm giving this, this compliment, I'm giving, hey, you look great, you know, you have a nice look, you have a nice face, can I, I'd love to make your photograph. You know, the guy will, look proud and look, I don't know, he will look good, he will feel good about it, and you want your photograph right there. So that's what I did. Even though he doesn't look very happy, but he was like, oh yeah, yeah, make, make my photo, no problem. The other guy there is happy, and I like it, because we have the guy out of focus there. Uh, it doesn't say here, because I'm using a complete manual lens, but I, I used the 35 again, uh, it says 9.9 .9 aperture, but it's not. I was uh, a 2.8. This was a little, a little misunderstanding with the metabone. Sometimes it does that, but it's a manual lens. It, it's actually it's a Meyer Optic uh, 35 millimeter 2.8 lens from the 60s. So very interesting lens. Not so good compared to today's technology but it has some character. And I thought it was very uh, complimentary to this place. All right, so I just went there and I asked and he said, yes, you can take my photograph. And then you spend a little time, even though you ask them, hey, can I take your photograph? Their expectation is that you're gonna grab your camera and do like this. Click, and that's it. They don't expect you to spend a lot of time. So you have a window of time, a very short window of time, that they will look comfortable, right? The moment you start taking a little longer, they're gonna have like, please stop it, please stop it, until they just like, okay, thank you, bye. In this kind of photos, when I'm just taking a portrait in the streets and people want to smile, that, that's their first reaction. They want to just like, you know, I, I, I try to avoid that. Because I think that a face like this tells a lot more than the smile. Because again, you've seen people smiling everywhere. You see it in advertisements everywhere. You see it on TV. So it's an oversaturated amount of images of people smiling at you. So we don't even believe that anymore, you know? I like to ask them the opposite. I like, hey, just stay normal. Don't smile. 
Because then you start having, a, it's almost like that. They, they breathe, yeah. <sighs> okay. And they give you, and just them, the strange person looking at your camera, it will, you know, it's, it is a more interesting photograph most of the time. It gives some sort of a, a different emotion. It gives some power to the photograph. And I like that. So that's a good exercise. A good exercise, I, I, I ask you guys. Just take your camera, go into the streets, and approach random people and photograph them. Don't worry, it's, it's normal to have to be afraid of going there and asking to take the photograph. I've been there and I always have to struggle against that, you know, the feeling that, oh, he's not gonna like it. Oh, I, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, he's, he's gonna find that I'm weird. I don't know. It's okay. So you take your camera, use the same lens, same distance from the subject, and at the end, you're gonna have the same, you're gonna have a nice series of photographs, you know? Damn random people that live at downtown, whatever, and they all looking at the camera, you know? And they all serious, you, you see, and you, you show that to people, they will, they will say, hey, this is, this is good. You're a good photographer, right? Just because it's, it's, it's something out of the ordinary. It's, truly extraordinary and you see you're gonna feel rewarded but it's an exercise you, again you think people are natural oh that guy is just a natural and it's not true it's it's a skill that you have to work that you have to you know make an effort so that's a good exercise you go out there and photograph random people see you next time send your photos to me if you have trouble, tell, tell me, tell me your experience. Tell me how, how did it go to you? Bye.